Hello there everybody and welcome to today's Tuesday Teaching Tips with me Sally Cathcart. Now at the moment I seem to be in very much a kind of scales kind of mood one reason or another. We've just had a, a free webinar at the time of talking over with Karen Marshall with her scales trainer. Of course a couple of weeks I was talking about scales hands separately and it's been really interesting to have feedback from people about how useful that's been. Today I want to talk about something that I call rhythm scales and I was doing this with um, a group in the community and we have a players hub and I was introducing this to them and this rhythm scale that I, idea, it's not mine, um, but you know something I've, I've adopted along the way is a really useful way of, of just playing a scale as a little warm up. So for example this afternoon I've got a student um, who is about to start learning the e bell, um, the little white donkey, which is a piece I love. Oh, it'd help if I could play it. Well, there's trouble with being live. Let's try again. <laughs> no, I can't talk and play at the same time. I'll start again. I can do this. challenges with that is not only the left hand staccato but the key which is F sharp major and F sharp major requires that certain arrangement of notes fingers getting you, you, yourself around it so what I'm going to start by getting her to do um, this afternoon as well as looking at the actual form and structure of the piece is get her to do this rhythm scale so rhythm scale starts like this we're going to play F sharp major and I'm going to play it four times First time I'm going to play one octave slowly with a steady beat. Second time I'm going to play quavers, two octaves, same beat. Third time I'm going to play triplets, guess what, three octaves. And the fourth time I'm going to play semiquavers, yes, as uh, four octaves. Always listening all the time for the smooth and even sound. So two challenges, smooth and e smooth, smoothness and evenness but the other challenge is actually getting the rhythm changes as you go from two to three and from three to four. I have to really mentally be alert here. So here we start with the first one and. So I can really listen here. Check my posture, not particularly brilliant, Sally. And then I'm going to go two octaves. four opportunities to consolidate notes and fingers and yet it had a real purpose it had a real sense of rhythm to it the rhythm is obviously the pulse is all important having that maintaining that steady pulse underneath it it's also engaging you for changing the rhythms so a really really useful scale on lots and lots of different levels you can do it in any key I wouldn't do it with a beginner. Um, you could do a two octave one, maybe a one octave and two octave with with with. I say beginners, you know, I'm talking grade ones to twos. Really, I find it coming comes into use uh, grade six, grade seven, that kind of level. So a rhythm scale, any key, major, minor. You could do staccato. You could even do arpeggios and things. Hope you have fun with those. Take care. Have a good teaching day. Bye bye. <laughs>